Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Monday Night Must See TV with the Hudson Valley Squares. We've got almost everybody tonight. We got Sydney Taylor, Ryan Scow, Butch Jones in the center square tonight. We've got Nick Franco, mm -hmm. Chris Allo, and Rich Catino. Lynn Versace will be joining us hopefully shortly. Steve Keeler is MIA tonight, but hopefully we'll see him next week. So today's uh, topic is that always fun conversation about albums that are really popular that everybody in the world seems to love and we just don't understand why so i've asked everybody to pick out three albums they can't get into no matter how much they try that everybody else loves so we're gonna ladies first tonight we're gonna have sydney kick us off with her three choices all right so this was hard i mean it's always kind of hard for me to pick stuff that i necessarily don't like because I tend to not focus on the stuff I don't like, but I picked three. Um, and the first, I'm going to start off with the one that I'm going to get crucified for um, from all of you and in the comments. <laughs> this is a topic I've avoided talking about on here because I know so many people are fans. Um, the first record I'm going to go with is Moving Pictures by Rush. And I know, I, I know, wow. I know. Um, I'm just not. Did I, did I just hear that correctly? <laughs> Even my wow. and I'm gonna get again I was like I'm gonna get crucified and I've I've been avoiding this like the plague because I'm like I don't want to deal with this Sydney's dark secret. Good secret for the last eight months wow. holy cow Jeez. my dog is showing you her butt now that's how that's what <laughs> nice. I'm just I I'm just not a big rush person I'm just not and it's one of those things I've tried I've tried with them many times I don't hate them by any means I'm not like god I you know hate hate rush um I just don't to be quite honest I'm not a big fan of Getty Lee's voice um and I I've heard that from other people too who aren't huge fans of the band I'm just I'm just not a big fan and in my opinion I've heard Tom Sawyer too many times I could go the rest of my life without ever hearing Tom Sawyer um if it comes on a radio station, I usually change it because I'm just like, I can't do this song again. So I had to, I had to go with that one for one. I just, I, I totally understand their musicianship. You know, they're very talented. I totally recognize what they've done for rock and, and their influence, but it's just not my cup of tea. And every once in a while, kind of like you Pete with King's X, I go back and I listen to it and I'm like, do I like, do I really like it? And I do have to say that as years have passed a little bit, I don't dislike it as much as I used to, but I'm still not like, man, I really want to put on this Rush album right now. Like, I'm just, I'm just, it's not for me. Um, so that's the first one. Just go hard at me in the comments. I know it's going to happen. Um, that's the top one the top. That's yeah, I mean, <laughs> just go. I mean, and I know they're going to be like, oh, it's because she's a girl and, and all this stuff. Because that's usually the thing. It's like, no, I just, I like a lot of stuff. Just Rush isn't one of them. So that's the toughest one of the night that I had to admit. Feels good to get that off my chest. The secrets. <laughs> every, every time you, you guys talk about Rush, I'm like, I don't, I don't even want to, I don't want to have to comment on it. Um, the next one is one that's not so controversial. Uh, I'm going to go for my main guy. I'm going to go with Alice Cooper as my second one. He's very, I've talked about this with Pete before on some of the Alice like ranking shows that we've done. Um, I'm going to go with the album uh, Zipper Catches Skin as one that I don't like. A lot of the diehard Alice Cooper fans really love that period between 80 and 83, where he did what he refers to as his blackout albums. Um, and it's albums that he does not remember making. He has no recollection of making them, writing them, recording them, touring them. He literally cannot remember. Um, and some people really see them as like hidden gems and kind of treasures and are kind of revered in his catalog. Um, I don't listen to them really at all. I like some songs off of, uh, I like Flesh the Fashion, but pretty much from Zipper Catch a Skin to Dada, I really don't listen to. I like some songs off of Dada, but I don't know, they're just not, they're not my go-tos. So I went with Zipper Catch a Skin because there's not even really one song on that album that I like. Usually I can pick off one or two off the other ones and I'm like, I like that one and I can listen to that one. Um, but Zipper Catch a Skin, there's literally like no song on this album that I would like volunteer, voluntarily listen to regularly. I could probably um, take all those albums and find maybe eight or 10 tracks, make one pretty decent album. The rest of it I could care less about. Right, right. And I, I remember tried. when I got, I got into them and I was like, there was a lot of, when I was getting into Alice, a lot of people would talk about, he would talk about how, you know, those albums were his favorites and I would go back and listen to them and I'd be like, man, I just cannot get it. And I've listened to them many times 
and there's just nothing about them that's I mean it was just all over the place and he was doing this like new wavy thing that was just not Alice Cooper it was just a weird period of time but he was again on various substances and hence why he has no recollection of making any of them um so that's my second pick and my third pick tonight is actually the album that I have behind me which is why I put it up here um is Motley Crue Theater of Pain I like Home Sweet Home I like Smoking in the Boys Room but to me it's the most forgettable Motley Crue album I love Motley Crue uh there's just nothing on here for me that really does it I I usually I go for record. yeah I don't know I it's just there's really other than Home Sweet Home which I I love I love it's a huge ballad from the music that I love so much um me and Rich love so much <laughs> Um, there's just, you know, there's just not a lot on that album that does it for me. I usually go for, you know, uh, the Too Fast for Love. I usually go for Shout at the Devil when I'm going for Crew and even, you know, Dr. Feel Good. Um, but I really don't really go for this one. So, wow. um, yeah, that kind of that kind of wraps up for me. I know they're, the, they're not like other than moving pictures, they aren't like huge classic albums, but it was hard for me to pick any of the really big ones to be like, I don't like these because it's kind of rare for me. So those are my picks. That's the last one. Go ahead, Butch. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you don't like City Boy Blues or Keep Your Eye on the Money off that album? Use it or lose it? To me, it doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, those are shitters. It's just a very forgettable, (laughs) I don't know. It just feels like a very forgettable Mm. record. I don't, other than Home Sweet Home and Smoking in the Boys Room is good, but it's also, you know, just, I don't know. I I like the last. It was the last good Motley Crue record until 1994. See, but I don't think that. I like Girls, 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 and I like Dr. Feelgood, so. Yeah. I can well, do it without all I three of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm with you on that one, Sydney, so. I knew Pete would agree but, with But, you know, me. people know I don't like <laughs> Motley Crue anyway, so it's like I'm going to say that about any, any Motley Crue album for the most part, but I know people dig them, so it's all right. Yeah. All right. Up next, uh, Mr. Aloe. What do you got? Okay. Uh... I'll start. I'm going to go in chronological order. Uh, 1977. I'm six years old. I go to uh, Caldor with my my mom and my sister, and she buys this record that has the fucking coolest album cover I've ever seen. I don't know shit about music, but this album cover is fucking amazing. And in like a short amount of time, like everybody I know buys this record. I my know. my aunt buys it. I got cousins that buy it. Uh, I have an uncle that liked it so much. He bought the record and he bought the fucking eight track for the car. So in 77, 78, I was hearing this album constantly. And I can't remember the first time I heard it, but I never liked it. And I always remember thinking, but that album cover is so cool. Like this album is fucking lame, even as a kid. And it sold like 50 million copies and it's meatloaf bad out of hell. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, Just Chris, a great album. fucking amazing cover, but um, you know it's like I don't know, f- fucking like fifties schmaltz meets fucking like Broadway show tunes. But that cover rules, man. That cover's awesome. To me, it's like the 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 sexy paperbacks for like you know the housewives. Like you got to put like like an awesome cover, and then it'll sell like a billion copies. But um. Yeah, I looked at like the biggest selling albums of all time uh, and like the the ones I picked. Uh, and I don't know if I did this wrong for you, Pete, but I thought that's what you were looking for. Like like albums that everybody likes that I don't like. That's that's the, that's the theme. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, every time every time I'm, I'm listening to PDH or whatever and they put on a meatloaf song, I know it's going to be 10 minutes and whatever. I'm like, boop, I change that change the station. I'd rather listen to the news. Or viewers, remember the Hudson Valley Square's drinking game because Chris just gave you about 95 shots to do. Drink, drink, <laughs> drink every time he says the F word. So oh. get going, everybody. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we should have done this during Sydney's turn, but everybody, for everybody who likes Bad Out of Hell, raise your hand. Okay, we got half. We're about. I don't own it, but I like it. It's okay. Right, well, should I raise my hand then for, for liking moving pictures? <laughs> Well, that's, I was going to go backwards. So yeah, everybody whoa. raise your hand. <laughs> I'm in for moving pictures. All right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I knew that was going to be everybody but me. <laughs> and what else? So how about uh, Zipper Catch a Skin, Alice Cooper? 
No. Yeah, I'm down with that one. No, no. I like yeah, that I was, one. Are you very happy? I like the <laughs> album cover though, where it looks like he did catch his pecker in the zipper. That that album cover I thought was funny. That's, That's a, a terrible. Motley Crue. Raise your hand if you like the Molly Crew album. That's a no. Rich, get uh, that. Yeah, come on, Rich. You gotta yeah, like I that, do. man. I, I, I like half of it. The other half of it. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I like, like I said, I like City Boy Blues. Keep your eye on the money. Use it or lose it. Um, tonight. Those songs. Yep. I like the way Vince Neil looked Lauren in those videos, cool. man, with them assless chaps. He was looking pretty good. And it's it's funny. The songs that Sydney said that or her favorites are the songs I never would ever play on that record. <laughs> I don't yeah. need to hear Home Sweet Home. Yeah. I don't right. need to hear what was I'm smoking in the boys' room. That's the it. Boys I think room. those too often. I love that record. Yeah, it's, I haven't honestly listened to it in like a little bit. So it's kind of, kind of one of those things where I kind of go back and try to listen to stuff I'm not too thrilled about. And I might do that tonight after we get off and kind of kind of give my maybe neck in our little chat, give you guys <laughs> a little uh, updated review. But yeah, I don't know. Just meh. All right, Chris, back to you for your second choice. All right, 1987. Actually, well, technically it's 88, right? Because this record came out in 87, but it's 1988. Uh, my dad was working uh, near Middletown, New York. So he calls me up and he's like, hey, did you know that they're doing concerts at the Orange County Fair? And I'd already been going to shows for a couple of years, but I had no idea. I'm like, no, I, I didn't know. So he reads me um, the list of shows and um i was already seeing priest but i was like yeah i'd love to see priest you know again this summer and uh def leppard was playing and i was like well i, yeah, I love the old stuff uh, you know i had never saw def leppard so uh he went and got you know grandstand seats for the two shows which was, was was awesome to go and the shows were good but you know i hadn't heard i didn't have the hysteria record uh and you know the two songs i heard uh, previously I, I i hated it i fucking hated it so make sure you drink. So uh, I did what any, you know, uh, normal rock fan would do. I go out and I buy the cassette and I'm like, holy shit, this is terrible. <laughs> like this is so candy ass, sugar coated, cotton candy, bubble gum. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, like these are the guys, same guys that did high and dry. I was but, like, woof. But Chris, do you, you, Chris, do you remember on MTV, the first song that they led that was, record with was it women? Yes. Women. I remember when I heard women, I was like, ah. Oh, you didn't like, like it either? Oh no, yeah, I didn't like it. That's why for the for the whole year I didn't got, buy the record. And uh I you know, that album is worse than that song though. Well, so I, I actually Yo, I thought the song was awesome. It was I, heavy. I didn't so like, like oh, this is well, that's cool. what I mean. It's one of the better ones, I think. Yeah. It's, it's I, I mean, honestly, maybe that could be. You know, it's kind of like uh, dropping an anvil on your foot is better than putting your your hand in a meat grinder. Um, so I don't know. I actually tried to re-listen to Hysteria over the weekend, and I was like, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. It was pretty bad. It was brutal. And I, and I know they said, oh, we're not a new wave of British heavy metal band, and we're doing our thing, and more pound to them. They sold a ton. Uh, Wikipedia said it sold 20 million copies, and they probably got 10, 10 million pairs of panties out of that album. But um, – Woo, man, that's um, to me that's a that's a tough listen. I I love well, that when when it came out when I heard it at that age because I that's one I remember when it came out and and I loved it and I can still listen to some of the deeper tracks off that. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that pour some sugar on me is pour some acid on me like in my <laughs> face. If that's that's maybe the worst. That's that's top five worst songs, worst rock songs ever. Yeah, I don't need to hear it again either. Yeah, no. Which, what do you think? Gods of War, maybe the best songs on that album? I was going to say, Gods of War was the only one I remember being. Gods of War, I mean, I love that album, so I'm going to shut up. I, you know, I like the Sydney. I like the moving pictures. And what I was saying, I had albums except for some sugar. Sorry. So what I was saying to Chris, I was expecting you to go along with me. I wasn't expecting you to be to do what you did. Because I remember when women came out and saw the video, I'm like, ooh, this is good. Because it was like a continuation of Pyromania, and it was heavy. And then everything else after that was what you're talking about. Yeah, see, like, I so they got women to go was, by the record was soft compared to the you know the previous stuff they did. I, I thought to me, I think women could fit right on Pyromania. Could, and I love Pyromania. Pyromania, yeah. 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 So yeah. Pyromania. To me, it was it's a heavy song. I mean, it could have easily been on Pyromania. To me, it's like they got me. I went out and bought the record, and then heard the rest of it. You're like, oh, the best song was the was the video song. Right, and and maybe it is the best. I mean. 
to me, the whole thing is it's a tough listen to it. And live, yeah. they were really good. I, I will give them credit. They, they were a lot of fun. Um, but just that, um, man, that album's a, for me, that's a, that's a tough listen. I, I agree. So raise your hand if you like Hysteria. Actually, you know what? I don't think I've even ever heard it. Yeah. Really? Wow. I just know I, I, I agree with you. I, uh, that one song is so fucking bad. I think I'd just rather eat a pound of salt and listen to the rest of it. I hate uh, it so fucking much. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one. It is it is a tough one. Uh, you know, uh, side two. Rock it tracks on side two. Armageddon is it. What's that? A couple songs on side two, side B, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Gods of like, War, Don't Shoot Shotgun. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was the one the one track that I was like, okay, this this doesn't make me want to kill myself. I love Armageddon. Oh, look who's I, here. But I was, was going to say, hello, Lynn. How are you? What's up, Lynn? Yeah. Lynn, nobody's talking any shit about Def Leppard. Don't worry. No, yeah, no. I don't We're really give Queens, a right? flying F, to be honest with no, you. No, you can say it. Chris already blew up in yeah, the box. Yeah, I blew that oh, up. The game has started. <laughs> no, no, I don't have any bourbon. I can't drink. Oh, I think I think you've had enough bourbon. <laughs> Ding dong, Lynn, answer your door. You're full <laughs> of shit. <laughs> And that would have been, that that would have been, been classic dude if you showed up with a bottle of bourbon that would have been cool that would have been funny that would have been funny <laughs> <laughs> and then i wouldn't have to drive home there you go you're already but you know what though about hysteria i think if if you were younger and that's where you came in i mean oh. it, listen i don't think it sucks i mean it sucks compared to what we grew up with compared to you know the first three it's awful but if that's where you came in, you know, I could understand, like, okay, I like this. And maybe 100%. It might ruin it for you. It, it, to me, it's, a, it's the Star Wars prequels. You know, you, if, you, if you grew up with the Star Wars originals, uh -oh. then you saw the prequels like me, I you're agree. like, this is garbage. Yeah, I agree with that, Chris. Yeah, totally. But that, and I stole I'm not Pyromania. Defending it. I stole Pyromania from my brother, and I, I love that. Right. I, I'll yeah, defend that to the day I die. Yeah. I like, yeah, you know, I mean, to, to be honest, listening to Hysteria, if that was like a brand new band, uh, I never would have pursued, right. you know, after hearing Armageddon it and Rocket, I would not have, you know, yep. I would not have pursued that that new band. But you're right. That's And that's why uh, my distaste comes in, because I'm comparing it to the, the earlier stuff. Which we all do, because we, yeah. you know, we like the old stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, there, there's, there's must be some people. Some people do like it. I mean, it's 20 million people. Well, yeah, not, I 20 million. It. I mean, that's a lot of. Yeah, a lot of people like Ariana Grande, too. That's I mean, true. Lynn, Lynn and I did a show ranking the Def Leppard albums a couple months ago, and, and we both, oh, I ranked it pretty low, and people were like up in arms about it because people love that album. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. They do. And I do like Ariana Grande. Oh, boy. I like Nachos <laughs> Bel Grande. That's pretty good. Everybody was like, dead crickets. <laughs> I like Matando Guerra. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good diner nachos, nothing beats it. Nothing beats it. There you go. Don't you have one more, Chris? Yes, I do. Does. I do. All right, number three. Number three. Uh, I used to go to these things which were awesome. They it was called the uh in the in the late eighties and nineties, it was called the New Jersey Record Collectors Convention. Mm -hmm. They were awesome. I used to go every month and it was cool because you could get bootlegs and uh, you could also get like the promo copies of stuff before it was you know released. So all the promos that went to record company or uh, radio stations and uh, DJs and magazine writers wound up and you could you would buy, you know, an album that you would normally pay like 10, 11 bucks for you'd, you'd buy like four or five bucks. And um, I heard this song and I thought it was great. And I, I, I can't remember if I read it or I heard an interview with the singer and I knew that I knew the band, the name of the band. And the singer was like, yeah, yeah, he was talking about being into Black Flag and Black Sabbath. And I heard this song smells like teen spirit. And I'm like, wow, that song's great. And then I bought the, and I got, I thank God I only paid like four bucks for it. I still have this original pressing, which I should probably put up on eBay and get rid of it. I hear the rest of this album called Nevermind. And I'm like, wait, like this album is like really mellow. And it's kind of like got acoustics and folksy and he's singing polly i want to give you a cracker i'm like this is nothing to do with black flag or black sabbath so like it, deep, oh my god it was it was really mellow so i hated it uh, and i still hate it and it sold 30 million copies and you know i'm sure there's you know 
and ruin Tons the of people that love it, but <laughs> not for me. I like it. Yeah, not for me. You talking about Nevermind by Nirvana? No, hate it. I've never heard the whole record. That's the only thing well, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't I gonna dig up, dig through my collection. I wasn't gonna waste the time. So yeah. I just listened to it on YouTube, and I was like, Ew, "This is." No, I love. Ollie it. wants a cracker. Yeah, I agree. The with one you. grunge job I like. That's it. That's the only yeah, fucking yeah. one. I, I, I agree like with you, Chris. Yeah, I, 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 I like, like that album. Who like? Yeah. Who likes Nevermind? Hey, raise your hands. I also Chris bought it for Smells Like Teen Spirit, and then I was like, the rest of it, I was like, this. And that's a that's a great song. And there's like nothing else oh, like that. I like that, that I, record. I hated that song from the from the get go. Yeah, so I don't really. Which, really like which was that the song. only smart one out of all of us, yeah. right? I, mean, I don't like that song. I I uh, I was like, what is this? And then everyone started getting into it. I'm like, uh oh, what's going on here? You could yeah. feel it. You could feel the tide yeah. changing. It's like, yeah. what totally. the fuck is this? Drink. Totally. <laughs> Chris, I bet you if I pull if I pull a Pete though and I put it on eBay, I'm getting my four bucks back. But yeah, probably. Chris, I gotta add one little anecdote. I gotta add a little anecdote because I know you're a big Celtic Frost fan. Sure. I remember reading a couple of years ago an interview with uh, one of those guys, and they said the number one album they were listening to the whole time they recorded that was to Megatherion by Celtic Frost. That's crazy. You know how that came yeah, it's apples and oranges. Are you it's kidding it. me? You told totally. me that, but that's what yeah. they said. They said they love well, that album. They were listening and I, to I know Frost Dave Grohl over. is a huge fan of Frost and Motorhead and he Sabbath spoke. and all those great bands. Yeah, he's a good friend of Lemmy's. He was. Yeah, yeah all three but, of them love it. All three of them love that. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't, well, I, don't, I, I don't hear any of those. Grohl's those other bands. band, the Foo Fighters, sucks a million peepees. I, well, I don't you, agree with that. I, was I know, say, but it's all right. I. Hate the Foo Fighters. That's I'm not a Foo Fighters did. guy. I used to. <laughs> Nick, I'm right there with you, buddy. Don't worry. Them. Despise them. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I'm not a Foo Fighters guy, but the reason I didn't list the Foo Fighters was because I've never heard an album from them. The Foo Fighters. So, yeah, yeah. so I, yeah, I just went with the too. records I actually heard. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I wouldn't like tons of band, tons of Born in the USA and rumors and a, and a, you know barbara streisand sings the fucking blues or whatever rumors but, you is know. great though did you say rumors he did yeah you i did didn't like? I, I i've like never it. heard it oh so oh, you know for this assignment i wasn't going to go listen to right, ten thousand right. albums right. to find out albums that are popular that i don't like never you've oh, never heard rumors you know. well no. you've, probably, you've probably heard like 75 percent of that. Oh, yeah I, the shit on yeah. the radio the only yeah, one in america out. i don't think i've heard that out you know, but you know, uh, I've never heard I've never heard a whole record from the Beatles or the Who or the Rolling Stones. It's not my not my thing. You know, I have chest pains. Yeah. I don't feel bad about moving pictures anymore. You should. I have chest yeah, I say, Sydney, don't like it. Don't want yeah. Mine couldn't be topped. But hey, was, I've also <laughs> never seen Jerry Maguire or the Titanic. So you know, you had me at hello. It's I'm just full type thing. Jerry Maguire is the good. Thinks, Chris, don't worry about it. Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I've never seen Jaws. Okay. It's what? not the Titanic. Really? It's no just injury. Titanic? <laughs> that's Nick, that's like saying it's not the Scorpions, it's just Scorpions. Some people get <laughs> hung up over it. <laughs> I love the Titanic. The boat sinks. It takes four hours. Yeah, boob scene is pretty romantic. good, but that's about it. I caught that on cable. Maybe like one of your French girls, Jack. It was a movie. That's right. It's a good movie. It's and he could have he was a skinny guy. He could have totally fit in that goddamn raft. Yeah. Oh yeah, he sort of goes, there's there's like diagrams of how he could have fit on the, the door. She totally fucked him over with that. So yep. <laughs> off topic. All right, let's get back to that. All right, I said my square, Mr. Butch. What do you got? Ready? I'm ready. Ready. Judas ready, Priest still? Turbo. Rush Grace Under Pressure. Ooh. Iron Maiden Book of Souls. Damn, that was quick. Those are hard to argue. I about. agree. I hard agree with all of them. One of them I is good. Those. Sorry. Which I, I agree with all of them. Uh, can... I, love Gra I love Grace Under Pressure. I'll give you the other two. I love Book, I of, like Souls. Book of Souls. I like Book of Souls. Yeah. But those are long uh, songs, so I can understand. I, I do own Grace Under Pressure because I bought it like right when it came out, expecting to be signals continued. N nope. And I, and I, and I, my joke now is seeing the cover, the back cover, seeing Alex Lifeson with the skinny tie 
and and Getty with I don't know what was going on with his haircut and, and Neil too. I was like, okay, this this doesn't look good. And inside was what the outside showed. I hate it. So I was done with Rush after Signals. Sorry, I, I've said that as Pete knows. I've drawn that line in the sand when I was a kid in 1983, and I have not stepped over it. There's nothing you can do to ever change my mind with that. Can't go over it. Um, Priest, I love Priest. Turbo sucks. I don't care. Again, I don't care anyone says. Parental guidance, stop it. Turbo no, lover, no. stop it. I mean, I like to sing no. the songs. No, you don't. You don't I like, like to it. sing them at their concerts. What about, what about Reckless? No. What about Wild Nights, Hot and Crazy Days? Awful. That's awful. That is great. an awful song. You know what, Chris, though? Chris, Good. it's a great video. <laughs> you pig. But yeah. I did go see them on that tour because Dokken was opening and I had to see myself George Lynch, 86. So I was there for that. Um, Maiden, I, I, yeah. Well documented my, my love of Maiden and my loathing of Maiden. I'm sorry, people. As far as I'm concerned, I know Nick just is about to, to fall over and die, but as far as I'm concerned, I was done. <laughs> I was done with Maiden after Seventh Son. I, I, I like Brave New World. It is a it is a good record. I don't think it's a great record. Um, if Yannick left, I think Maiden would be right back where they were with a different producer. If they get rid of Yannick and different producer, I think Maiden could could go back to Maiden S type stuff. But their stuff is boring. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Your opinion. Fuck Double. it, drink. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had some bourbon. I want to say F. <laughs> oh, F. And, Lynn, you want to go? Go. Wait, wait. All before right, you go, go to Lynn, I, I want to say I want to say thank you again, everybody. I I still have the shirt right here. I didn't wear it because it's kind of chilly today, and I wanted to wear my sweatshirt instead. So, as much as I don't ever want to wear this fucking shirt that you guys got me. <laughs> Drink. And it, it is slightly funny. It's not really fucking funny. It's I mean, John fucking Sykes. Funny. So drink. I'm going to swear and say John Sykes over and over again. So <laughs> everyone has to drink. Thank you for the. I call. know oh. that you miss that me and Nick aren't there tonight. I know you miss us. Oh, it Which I'm glad you mentioned John Sykes because now we can bring out the uh, the John Sykes collage here. You know, I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I oh. Never have only collage. So it's John Sykes puts his own Nice. <laughs> nice. Chris, Chris, you want to read that caption? Butch, can you pass you? the oil, mate? <laughs> I didn't want to, oh, I didn't want John God. to get left out. So now he's got his own collage too. So we'll just That's put the awesome. That's the yeah. See, Rich, look what you started with the collage yeah. stuff, Rich. Look at that. Okay. Right? See? That's and I had, I had a bigger one behind me too, on top of it. It's out of control. Unbelievable. Collage mania now here, I'm telling you. When he comes back off. out of retirement, you're all gonna be, feel sorry. I hey, won't feel sorry. Him to. It's, we're, we're yeah, I, I'd, I'd much rather see Yannick Ayers on that milk carton than, than John Sykes. So <laughs> I concur. <laughs> <laughs> Except how many of us would really care if Yannick like went missing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. I love New Maiden, but if he left, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't bother you, right? You know what's a shame though? He was really good in Gillen's band back in the early '80s. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what happened. With it. Was he still flailing around back then? Yeah, he was a lot more reserved. He's he's way overboard nowadays. I don't, right. I don't know what this was. Just they a little bit. They kept him, him in out of loyalty. They kept still take Bernie Torme over him. Oh, but Bernie was great. No, oh, yeah, that, I totally agree. Yeah. All right, Lynn. What are your picks for today? All right, so can I just tell you, I have to tell Butch and Nick that I got pulled over again on the way here to do the show, and I was thinking about you guys, I was fucking crying. So to the police officer that let me go, thank you, I really did do a show tonight, so I wasn't What crying. did you tell him? What did you tell him? I'm in the parking lot, I, I'm free. <laughs> I'm in home base. I'm, I'm on base. home base, you can't get me, I'm in the parking lot. Not it. I can't. That was a... Oh God, that was last time I was in a parking lot. Like, you can't pull me over. I'm in a parking lot. I don't know if that's going to work. No, I said I record a YouTube show. I'm very late for it. They're going to miss me. I don't want to miss the whole show. <laughs> so I'm not lying. Hello. See, I'm on a YouTube show. <laughs> just drop, just drop, see a tranquility. He'll, he'll let you go. I mean, I did. So I told him to come watch and to subscribe. So to the officer that let me go, thank you. Subscribe. And um, see, I wasn't lying. There you go. See that? We don't know her. 
<laughs> I just infiltrated your camera. You just somehow got the Zoom link. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So not to be a dick, but to be a dick, I kind of like Chris Allo picked fucking Nirvana because it sucks. Nice. <laughs> it's okay. on my top three, but I I could replace that, but then Pete will fucking get mad at me, but Why I'll replace that? it at the, I'll replace it at the end because somebody told me that you like this band and I, the who, Quadrophenia. I don't like it. A lot of filler in it. I just don't like it. I, I don't know. A lot of people liked it. I didn't like it. So I guess I'll replace that since he said Nirvana. And so you too, Joshua Tree, the fifth album. I was, you know what? I was going to say you too as just I the hate catalog. Yeah, the whole catalog is right, but especially that record. And I don't celebrate any part of any catalog. I don't get it. I don't get the whole U2 sensation. Yep. Not even a little bit. I don't Very get it. Good. Um, and then I concur last, again. I know you do. So not for nothing, my last, but certainly not least, I don't get it. I, he's talented, I guess, and he's a good songwriter. Um, he's not for me, but Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run, I don't know. I, and I his whole catalog. Too. And his whole catalog. I just don't like it. <laughs> then that was on my list, too. I do like one See? song from him, though. What is it? Adam raised the cane from uh, Darkness on the Edge of Town. Darkness all right, well, I don't know it. So I don't know. I don't even care because I don't like it. So <laughs> tell you. don't celebrate so, his whole catalog. I don't. I don't celebrate any of it. So that's it. Nirvana, U2, Bruce Springsteen, The Who, Quadrophenia. You know, there was a couple others, but I don't want to say it because people will get all mad. So whatever. Oh, Those no, 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 no. You can't throw it out, out there and then take it back. Say the, say the picks yeah, now. Say no, I was oh, going to say Pink Floyd, Floyd, The Wall. <laughs> I was going to say Pink Floyd, The Wall, but then I was talking to a few people like Mike Beretta and he said, you can't kick the wall. I said, why? Uh, he said, because it's, it's my favorite album. and Pete loves it. I said, but I don't love it. Wow. I don't, I don't like the wall, actually. Really? Wow. All right. What? Wow. Wow. They're one All of my right, honorable so, mentions. So, I'm, not, I'm not a wall oh, man. Nice. It is? Oh, it's on your honorable mentions? Yeah. Now I feel I, fucking I, I like amazing. I the wow. the rest of it bores me. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I've been oh. saying that for years. Wow. Yay. All right, show of hands. Who likes the wall? I don't, I've never heard the whole thing. What uh, the fuck? I'm like, what? Floyd, I don't, I don't, yeah. I get it. I mean, I appreciate them. I appreciate Gilmore as a guitar player and everything, but yeah, you know, he doesn't do much for me, but I appreciate it for sure. See this? You see this? Schmoo? Yep. <laughs> Schmoo. <laughs> that's my story and i'm sticking to that's it, it. I take it. Wow. that's it that's my thing sorry nick you're on mute you're on mute nick you hate me now nick nick thinks the worst of me now nick you look like you just nick's frozen <laughs> why is he like this? nick is really confused <laughs> you okay sir fuck? you have like a like nick are you okay thing? You call the on mute. You You're still on mute, and dummy. You're on mute. And signal. But nothing changed. Oh, there we go. There you go. Oh, you, oh, you sound fine, Mike. <laughs> That's me when what you guys that? say. That's oh, me when you say you don't now. like the wall. That's my ah. face. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did I mute myself? I didn't touch anything, bro. Don't All hate right. me. <clears throat> it's okay. Well, Nick, why don't you go next? Okay. Oh, come on, Nick. What do you yeah, I'm going to make some enemies. I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to make some enemies. Whatever credibility I may have had will disappear with this one. And I'm okay with that because, again, like you said, Pete, it's things that everybody loves that you don't get. So I'm not sitting here saying that it's fucking horrible. It's just I don't get it. Um, well, Lynn already said the who, um, and that's one of my picks, but it's it's uh, who's next. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. That's yep. probably and, one of the best. I know. And I, I listened to it again recently just to just to see and that the uh, Baba O'Reilly and all like that sound. Yeah. I used to think when I was a kid, I used to think that that was like it was like an emergency broadcast thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I used to be like, oh, shit, what's going on? And, and then it would start. And, and that, that's a good riff. Like when it comes in like that, it's good. Mm. Uh, that's not like a shit song or anything. It's, it's obviously good. And I saw see that it has three hundred and Almost 340 million downloads on Spotify. Oh, it's so popular. I know. So popular. And I, like, I, I understand that I don't expect much support. 
but I listened Nick to the rest of the album, album. and I, it just does nothing for me. Like I could see it being something that people listen to, but it just sounds like throwaway rock to me. It doesn't do anything to me like what it does to everybody. Nick, else. I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever heard this cool album, Live at Leeds? Uh, you know, but you were mentioning that. That's one I should. That came out you, before. You should listen to this. Yeah. You would like this a lot. Yeah. I didn't this like is, it. Is, is that the double one or the single? Oh, shit. It's a single CD, but it's got. Yeah. 14 I have tracks. that. The double, the double deluxe is the one to get. That's got right. I was gonna sure say because the single one is missing a lot of shit. Oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to upgrade because this, this is my favorite thing to whoever did. I fucking love this album. It's oh just... Ryan, man, when you get the deluxe double, you, your love for it's gonna grow exponentially. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the love deluxe double? I, I'm all about. The I want to throw the who. I will throw the who a bone. Wait. Uh, go ahead. The love rain over me. Yeah. Nice. One of the greatest songs ever. Yeah. That's a so good song. I'll throw the who a bone. But for the most part, I just don't get it. It just doesn't move me. It doesn't do anything for me. Wait a minute. Everybody's like, ah, you know. And and back in the day when I used to, when then you have to listen to a lot of radio because you're trapped somewhere and you only have radio. Oh, that would come on. I would hear that beginning. I don't know. It just doesn't. Wait a minute. So, yeah. Nick. <laughs> yes. Nick. There's no logic, which I, I don't know. You, you don't like bargain? Uh, no, it doesn't do anything for me. It, it just, I know. It doesn't. Go on sure mobile. Good. I'm sure independently of fucking. I like that song, Going Mobile. But I, I just don't like it. We'll, we'll get you hooked on that live album, Nick, and we'll go okay. from there. But yeah, well, Love Rain Over Me is, is, oh my God. like Because I love the movie <laughs> Rain Over Me. Have you we'll ever get, seen the movie? We'll get fooled again, Nick? What? Won't get fooled again. One of the greatest screams of all time in rock history. That is a good yeah, song. Just, uh, just missed me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I know. Where does he go from here? That's number three. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm puzzled. Yeah. Hey, these oh, are his picks. He don't like it. Listen, it, it, if he says Thin Lizzy, I'm out. No, Christ. Thin <laughs> Lizzy. Awesome. Well, if he says Operation no Mind Crime, I'm out. No, oh, I can understand just, that one. If you cut me, I believe <gasps> that album. Don't worry. Swing <laughs> me for the fences, Nick. What else you got? Um, well, the next one, I think, like many people, won't be surprised that I picked. But um, I am going with uh, with Soundgarden, with Super Unknown. Woo! Uh, I hate that album Woo! with with a passion that is probably unreasonable. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to go on record, and I'm looking right now. The song Spoon Man. <laughs> oh my annoying. god! Man, hold on. 110 million downloads. That means 110 million people wanted to punch me in the balls when they listened to that. It's, <laughs> it's the worst. That's a lot of punches, man. I'm with know. you. you know I'm what? with you, though. Cool. That's annoying. It's, I'm going to punch and I don't like the rest of those the people. Album. You better take a number because he's got 110 million. Want to yeah, punch but him. I'm going to see him before the other people will see him. So <laughs> Wait a minute, though. Yeah. Fourth of July? <laughs> not the worst but it's not it's 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 just oh not... there's ball punching but but well, yeah ball punching I mean, coming up nick you better uh, you better get ready spoon man <laughs> is like somebody putting a screwdriver in my teeth. i'm with you yeah um and black hole sun that's the one that's 330 million downloads <gasps> no that's the and, big hit off that album that's, yeah. that's the big uh i'm trapped somewhere and it's like all right the refrain is a little catchy but it's just so fucking slow and oh uh, fuck me. i show of hands how many people like this sound garden album i can i show everything like what the oh, fuck i love chris cornell yeah, just but disgusting. oh boring. mailman oh. nick what the song mailman, mailman? Nah, it's boring they're just boring and i don't mind i have grown the <laughs> old album uh Whoops! And they just started playing out. I mean, it's not bad, Motorfinger. So I understand. Yeah, bad like bad Motorfinger, like that. I can get down with that a little bit. That's, that's brilliant. Not bad. That's got some great, Black Days like, on personal the Jesus and yeah. like songs like right. that. It's pretty good. But yeah. it is. I, remember, yeah. I don't like, with very few exceptions, I don't like, I like grunge. And and I know you were saying, is Soundgarden even grunge? I don't know. It, it it's just something that happened in the '90s that wasn't Slayer, Maiden, and Megadeth, like I loved. So I really wasn't set up to like it anyway. But I mm. really, really they're, they're more grunge than Alice in Chains are. That's for damn sure. Yeah, no, I like Alice yeah, in Chains. The first, like, three or whatever. Um, but, oh, Soundgarden. Jesus Christ, so boring. Oh, oh my God. And, and again, it was at a time when I was stuck watching MTV, waiting for my bands to come on. I'd have to watch fucking Spoon Man. Like, Jesus Christ. You know? Like well, my shit, Alice Nick. Nick, my it, it, isn't bad enough. fucking killing me. 
Right. That was 94. So, Nikki, you were waiting for your bands to come on, and they weren't coming on. Yeah, you had to wait another 10 years for that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> buddy. Now, the next one I'm going to say is probably going to get me thrown off the channel. Oh, shit. Um, it's gonna be good. it's not moving pictures, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say it, Pete. I love you. Because I think you like them the best out of this crew. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like, never, if you put in a vacuum, if, if I didn't know anything about their history, anything about rock history, if you just put me in a vacuum and said, listen to this band, and now uh -oh. tell me if you think that they're going to change the world and be the greatest fucking thing in the world and everyone's going to worship them. And it was the Beatles. What? Oh yeah, Lynn, you like the what? I, I don't you get it. Or what, 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 what album? I'm with you. That, I went and I, Nick, I'm with you too. At the same thing. I went with Abbey Road. What the hell? Oh, I don't are like you it. Oh, no, I'm I not kidding. I, I, I gotta go. I, gotta I stand go. before wait, you. I Nick, Nick, up. wait. Nick, Sydney, uh, you're Sergeant, off the hook, Peppers, Sergeant Peppers was one of mine I was going to throw out there. Okay, yeah. No, I know, I know what I know what <laughs> Nick, I, I can't fucking hang out with you anymore, bro. Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's rough. That's Nick, really you see rough. this? <laughs> Nick, you see this? They're walking away from you. Good. I away. fucking can't. I'm over there I waiting can. for the new wave of British heavy metal. <laughs> Which wouldn't have existed without the Beatles. I'm so. sure. Thank well, you, I, Sydney. When, Thank you, Sydney. Sydney, I have no doubt in my mind. I understand how influential they are. As long as you me. understand that's oh, all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, who the hell am I? I mean, if Paul McCartney walks in, okay, you're. Paul McCartney, but it just they're it, Paul McCartney, motherfucker. Remember that time when you were in the Beatles? <laughs> okay, that's it was funny. Chris Farley. Oh, that was pretty funny. Remember that time yeah. at Van Camp? I, I, said, yeah. I, I felt I've had conversations with myself, like, why don't you get the Beatles? What's wrong with you? You know, but I, I just either. maybe Ringo maybe I have your head. I don't know, Nick. Why don't you? I don't. All right, like you know what? Actually, I am going to hang out with you for one night and we're going to listen to the Beatles. I All right. I like that. Eleanor Rigby a lot. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I will I say, you know, growing up, my father was a huge Beatles fan. And when mm -hmm. I was a kid, I didn't really care for them too much. It took me a long <laughs> time to discover the brilliance of the Beatles. And I think, yeah. you know, now I'm, 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 I call myself a pretty decent Beatles fan, but I could yeah. totally get people like just not seeing it. But, you know, yeah, I don't find, I don't see too many of those people. So, yeah. Uh, well, because you know what it is in here is that because I went back and I listened to a lot of stuff that I was like I kind of really don't like that too much but then I listened to the deeper tracks on I was like oh that's really good like like take the Steve Miller band I was I don't like the song Joker for some reason but I listened to the rest of the album again and I was like oh this is awesome like I it's so good so I can't pick that just because I don't like the lead single or whatever but I understand that the Beatles are a great band I get that there there has to there's a distinction I just don't understand why. I'll stay I have heart palpitations now. Is. I just want you to know that. You know what? I, you know what, though, Nick? I, I understand. I do. I, I get why you <laughs> say that. Because with the Beatles, it's kind of like, it's okay, here, here's a good, I think it's a good analogy anyway. It's the same idea with Jimi Hendrix. How there's people in 2021 that are, that are coming into guitar playing saying, what's the big deal? But this was 1967. Right? Nothing like that. When, when, when people hadn't thought to do what he was doing then. And right. The same thing with the Beatles. You know, now you've got, you know, you can go in the studio and have 48 tracks and all this stuff. The Beatles yeah. were working off of four. So if, you, if you're looking at it back at the, what did they have to work with yeah. at that time and right. who before right. them was doing that, what they were right. doing? And the answer was nobody. They, no one they... was doing what they were doing. They were inventing right. that path. Oh, I'm sure. So when, when, when did they put, start? Like when did they get going as a band? Sixty one. Recording wise, like sixty two. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were first. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they were done as a. They they weren't even together ten years as a band. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's incredible. Seventy, they were done. You you think about like all the you know I, I'm you know Alice Cooper's and and uh, you know Black Sabbaths and it's at, like the defining moment of everybody's like childhood or like yeah. teenage years when they were going into like doing what they were doing at that time was the Beatles yeah. on the Ed Sullivan show. Like that is literally. Oh yeah. The and Lemmy's favorite band too. That was Lemmy's favorite Ozzy's band. Ozzy's favorite band, right? Ozzy talked Ozzy's about favorite band. forever. Because they were over a certain age, yeah. you know? Like for us, 
or at least for me, not, maybe not even you, Nick, because you're younger than me. But for me, like, again, going back to the guitar player thing, because that, that to me is the easiest way to kind of describe it yeah. is with Van Halen. You know, this guy comes in and revolutionizes everything that's going on to, to today. You know, people are still, and that was 78, people are still going back to that. And that's what the Beatles were. The Beatles were taking something that hadn't been done, were inventing right. it as they were going. And then right. everyone that was growing up at that time, like you said, the, the, like Sidney just said, the Ed Sullivan show and all that stuff, they're like, yeah. oh my God, I, I got to do this, you know? So it was something that was the, the it was beyond the pro. I don't even know, what, what do you call something that's beyond the prototype? Yeah. You know? Oh, I'm sure. And you know, my, my parents... <laughs> My, my, my dad is 80. My mom would have been 79. Um, they weren't really into the Beatles, but they played all the 50s rock in my house. And I love that stuff. So yeah. maybe it's because my parents didn't listen to them. 100%. I, it's, uh, I, have, I have a fun story because my I always tell people, I feel like this is how I, like it was just in my blood. When my parents brought me home from the hospital, the first song that they played in the car was Here Comes the Sun. And so I was like, that's like the first song I ever heard. And it's funny because to this day, I still have a really kind of strong tie with that song. But, you know, I, I don't know. It's I think it's one of those things where, yeah, I mean, like my parents grew up you know, listening. I, I grew up listening to the Beatles. So I feel like just naturally, you know, yeah. you, you oh, also yeah. naturally, I feel like sometimes gravitate towards the music that you grew up around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just didn't. I don't know. No, I get it. It's, it's come together right now. Uh, I'm so my heart's broken. All right, Nick. Well, I suck. That's a pretty <laughs> Mr. Scow, are you going to treat us any better than this here? I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll make some enemies too. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can top. Uh, I don't think I can top the Beatles though. Although yeah. Nick, I will say, I did not. I'm not going to say I disliked them growing up, but I just I never really gave a yeah. fuck. And uh, everybody drink. And uh, it wasn't like until I was almost in my 30s where I started listening to them. I'm like, this is just really yeah. good, catchy, memorable rock. You know, I didn't even care the history. I mean, you know, everybody knows the history, but. Like it's just good, just enjoyable rock music. So that's what kind of got me into them over time. But uh, yeah, I'm not like a maniac for them, although I do like that album a lot. I think yeah, it's weird. Best. Weird I you picked that in room. That's like my I, But uh, all right. So uh, all right. My first pick is the number one. As soon as Pete mentioned this topic, the first thing that came to mind is all throughout my 20s. Spent a lot of time in bars, a lot of time drinking, a lot of time playing pool. And there was one album that was always in a jukebox. People just, I'm, they must have spent 10000 fucking dollars oh, no. pumping money yeah. into the jukebox to hear this out. So I've heard it, I don't know, conservatively 80 billion times. And uh, it's not a bad album. Uh, well, this is just something that I don't, I don't get. And it's mostly due to the vocals. But that album is Appetite for Destruction by Guns N' Roses. Oh. Yeah, it just. <laughs> oh, I don't feel I go, bad. I could go a thousand lifetimes out here in Paradise City or uh, Welcome to the Jungle ever again. And even because the whole album was played, even the deep cuts on that album to me are in deep because I've heard them all a million times. And every mm. time I'm like, I gotta fucking listen to this again. Isn't there anything else, uh, you know, any other rock band in the world? But no, it was just Guns N' Roses over and over. So that's my first. <laughs> well, any fans of Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, raise your hand. If, if you I like, like it, it. If you like I don't it. dislike it. I love it, I think it's great. Uh, didn't you have to say I could never hear Night Train again? That is one song. Oh, that's, that's oh. my favorite album. That's my favorite song on the album. I, yeah, I like it. I don't know. I Night Train is the one that I just <clears throat> I can't turn on Ozzy's Boneyard or Night Train. Play it. That yeah. on. I, I love the album. I, I I think I just and I still love Night Train. It's just to me that's the one song on that record where I'm like I could never hear that one again, dude. Rocket, literally, my a lot of it is actually so just, just oh god, I can't fucking stand this singing. Yeah, I can't. So, uh, you know, everybody look at Lynn right now. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn loves my my night train impersonation. Red. Oh, that little squeaky thing that happened before was that you? <laughs> that was me. Night train. I'm on the night train. <laughs> so my number two pick. Uh, this I think this is the best example. You said a band that everybody loves sold millions of billions of copies. And I just, I've listened to them and I kind of like the earliest stuff a little bit, but I just, again, I'm not going to say they suck. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just, I just don't fucking get it. And that is uh, Queen, A Night at the Opera. Do not get it. I oh, heard them at all. Oh, heard it. man. Wow. It does nothing for me. And I could right. go a million lifetimes. I hear you. He mean nah, so, so you again. don't like that album, but do you like like Queen 1 or Queen 2 or Sheer Heart Attack? That's, those are the only three. And even then, I'm like, I'm not a big fan. 
you know they got some really good songs uh um, some of the songs like uh you know uh, uh, my brain my brain's not even working right now Liar, yeah, son, really daughter cool. and uh march of the black queen and march of the yeah. black queen is good queen two is, a, is a, probably my favorite of them yeah by the time they got tonight at the opera it was really getting theatrical and like over the top and just very like like more like a broadway show and a rock band. i don't know i just can't do it i've wow. heard that album i liked really queen when they had paul rogers <laughs> that is probably i'm my with you ryan yeah. queen is not for me Really? I, I, I think that yeah, out of this group, the only person who would agree is Chris Allo. This is yeah, not for me. You know what it any, is, any, any, got, any singer that comes out with that little stick microphone and is in diapers, that's not my guy. <laughs> that's not for me. Chris, Brian May is Tony Iommi's best friend. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I know. Well, you know, that's all right. And, and La- Lady Gaga supposedly likes Judas Priest, but I, that he don't does. mean I got to like her. He does. He's... <laughs> Chris, I got to turn you on to those first couple Queen albums, man. That's All like, right, awesome, the, the heavy heaviest shit. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> my third one, I, I think this will this will make the most enemies. Oh, I think so. I say more for last. And uh, uh, you know what? Again, Uh-oh. I've tried. I've given this album so many fucking chances. Uh oh. And we were just talking about them a minute ago with the oh, next no. album. But I'm going to go back in time, and I do not like. I do not like Pyromania by Def Leppard at all. I oh cannot my God. That's fucking all. insane. That's insane. <laughs> that's <laughs> insane. It does nothing. See, now Butch is leaving. It does nothing for me. <laughs> that's, that's out of control. I love Butch. 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 Hey, Butch, I'll meet you in the living room. He's <laughs> taking his drink and he's leaving. <laughs> I've never, I, I've I never know, heard he's, anybody he's ever, going on his upside down machine. Ever. I, you know what? I've never heard that. I'll be honest, though. I'll be honest, Rich. Like, I'm not even really a big fan of the first two. I like a couple songs of Wasted. Answer oh, to the master. I just thought. Oh, I'm not a fan of that film. oh my god! Fuck this! I'm leaving too. Rich is clear in the room. <laughs> you guys <laughs> thought my that moving was pictures was the top top. Ryan just close. cleared the room. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It, you know what? It's it's. Hey, hey Ryan, you want to do something funny? What's up? Let's chop that guy's other arm off. Oh, okay, that, that, oh that's, 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 terrible. Oh, terrible, terrible. I know, that, I know. That's even oh low my for him. God. Yeah, that's bad. That's How's he going to jerk off then? Oh. <laughs> wow. Lynn got right to the heart of the moment. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we forgot about I the Beatles. I care. I that's, care. Ryan, look at what yeah, you've so done. you lucked out, Nick. The Beatles yeah. are forgotten at this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, it's obviously not a shitty album. I just I've listened to it. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I'll put you know, on. You know what's really funny here? So I went to this concert about maybe five or six years ago with with both of these two guys here, oh, and it was you, Kiss uh, and Def Leppard. And Nick could care less about the Kiss show, and if I remember correctly, Ryan did not care about the uh, the Def Leppard part of it. But both were giving it the other. I guess yep. you could say I cared about the Def Leppard. Well, how much did Nick? Oh, yeah, Nick, you danced around and ran around, around with a with a cape all night. And yeah, how much did Nick <laughs> care about Def Leppard? How, I, Nick, I would tell you caring a lot about the Def Leppard set. I cared uh, a lot. He was wearing a cape. What is he fucking Superman? Well, well actually, oh. actually, it was the blanket of the people who were hanging out in front of us. That's what yeah, he kind of stole it from them and their drink <laughs> on it and tied it around his neck. Starts running That's around. That's funny. Like, you um, wore somebody else's blanket. Yes. It seemed right in the moment. It was yeah, a lot you don't of, know what uh, kind of spooge was on that, bro. That's nasty. Can I leave? Is the show over? <laughs> Rich still has to go. And Pete. Oh, yeah, All right, go ahead, Rich. All right, so, so Ryan. Now you, I'm having a gummy. You, I got to relax. You've annihilated everything so far. So, Rich, uh, you got to top that. To, to fill I don't know how to follow up with everybody because everybody just came for everyone. I'm disgusted. Like, <laughs> Yeah, the power mania just left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, that that was not. Welcome. That's Ryan, brutal. That's pyromania, uh, moving pictures, moving Abbey pictures. Road. I mean, wow, Quadrophenia. Well, Who's Nails was one of the bands on my list, so that was taken. Bruce Springsteen was taken. The Nevermind was taken. Guns and Roses was taken. Everybody took all my picks. I can't listen to Axel ever again. It's screeching. It's like a bunch of cats in an alleyway. That's the biggest problem with it is that fucking guy's I voice. I can't do it. Although November Rain is a great song. Great piece of music, I think. But him, I just can't. And Slash is a great guitar player, but I just can't listen to Axel. I just can't do it. Um, and the, the Beatles album I pick was Sgt. Pepper. I just can't get through it. 
Ugh. I can't do it. I just, I just can't connect to the Beatles at all. I can't, can't relate. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Beatles, then the other what are you out of your mind? <laughs> what? What are you out of your mind? I'm just kidding. I agree. But, uh, <laughs> and the other band, because like I said, everybody picked all the ones I had here, was uh, Green Day. Who I never liked. I never I liked, liked a couple of songs. I never, I never really liked punk to begin with, and then you got pop punk on top of it. Forget it. Well, oh, wait a minute. Are you taking? Are you talking about an album? Or are you talking about a band in, in whole? Oh, the album was, was Doom. Yeah, that was their big hit back in like ninety. That was that's Lynn's album. Yeah. So I, yeah, I would that's go my album. My, my I fucking love that. Uh, my three Frank. would be Sergeant Pepper, then um, Dookie, and then probably the Bruce Springsteen album, Born to Run. Just, just can't do those. See, you know, th those those records were just too easy. Like, like Lynn had said about, I had thought earlier about you too. It's like that's just too easy because you know that's that's we're not supposed to like for the stuff we like. We're not supposed to like that stuff. What do you mean we're not? What do you? Why we're fucking human? I can't. We're not supposed. No, because like you're it. you're we're we're hard rock metal fans. We're not supposed. No, to No, like no, 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 no. You stick to that genre. No, I, I do don't. Not. I like. Okay. Really. Okay. You you like metal and rock, and, and I don't and I don't like anything else. Yeah, but I like country. I like rap. I like rock. I like eighties throwback music. You don't like. You're a any girl. Of that. You have no taste. I'm a girl. Oh, oh man! Shit. Oh my Sydney. god! Wow, it's getting ugly. You're Sydney's fucked. throwing down. Sydney's like, what? the happy that moments from last bullshit. week are gone. Right from the big guns. No more happy moments from last week. Ooh. Oh man! I'm gonna zip my so, lips. So did I, did I pick ugly. my three then? So those are your I do three? my three, Born, yeah, so Born to Run, Sgt. Pepper, and Dookie. Yep, Dookie. I'll throw one more person under the bus. How about Bob Dylan? Bring it all back home. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I yeah, agree with that. I, I hate Bob never Dylan. Like, never like Bob Dylan. He puts me to sleep. Yeah. I agree. Terrible voice. Terrible voice. Yeah, can't can't get into it. He's like he's it's like he's sleeping while he's singing. Like, I don't like Neil Young either. Just so you know. But that's that's but that's what other man don't need him around anyway. That's that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying for, for a hard rock fan perfect. perfect all those all those artists are, are you know are commonplace, commonplace for us not to like really well if, if we're sticking with our music then i'll go with the green day dookie nirvana and guns and roses appetite for destruction or use your illusion one and two can't mm. can't listen to axel anymore can't do it drives me crazy i like your dookie pick that 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 should be in the toilet where it deserves to be yeah that's that a good one. Album, yeah i can't do it pop punk no way Young punk. Me liked I just it. like to say pop punk. Pop punk. Young me liked Green Day. <laughs> yeah. Pop Young punk. seven seventeen year old me. I crashed my first car to Dookie. On purpose? No. <laughs> yeah, that's almost on purpose. <laughs> the album was so bad. No, I was listening. <laughs> no, no, not on purpose. It was my dad's car, and I remember. Oh God, having that make that whole call. Car. Were you alone, you know, or were you getting something now. done to you while you crashed? No, but I was with a girlfriend, Lynn, but no, we were just driving. It's going to say, that's over the scene. Scene. I, I, over the with my car. I wish I could blame Roadhead. No, it was Road Stupid. I was 17. I just <laughs> lost control of the car. Did you just, did you just say Roadhead? I, yes. I said, I wish, Lynn because Lynn was Because he could have been himself. having Roadhead. Maybe that's why he crashed, yeah, I thought. he was implying it. I said it. But no, I, I can't even blame that. <laughs> this show is on my you own. You know what CD I did run over with my car, though, I think? Was Metallica St. Anger? Nobody likes that. Yeah, that's a show. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't think know. I actually ran it over in my car. It was awesome. That must be satisfying, though. No? Um, it was. I, I was like, I, I wasted my money on this. Let me just run it over in my car and have a little fun. Yeah, thanks. You know what? I never bought that album. Me either. I oh, felt no reason to. But I heard it and. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Anyway. All right, Pete. Let's hear them. What do you got, Pete? Uh, what do you got? <laughs> All right, so uh, my first. He's not ruffling any feathers. Got some tough ones to top here. Yeah, mine, <laughs> mine are not too sexy, unfortunately. But uh, um, Van Halen, OU812. I, mm. I, I purposely left that stuff out. Right, come on, baby, that. finish what you started. Yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I, you know, this is just really poppy and just bland. I like that song. Yeah, I, shut up. No, I mean, there, this I like that millions, song. Sold millions of copies. There's a tons of hits on here. I just don't find this interesting at all. Yeah, 
part. I, you know, I don't dislike the Van Hagar era, um, but this is really the only album I just never could get into. I don't know. You know, every, every song had a video on MTV. Every time he turned around, there was another, you know, Ed smiling there, like, what? It's, eh, it's not the Van Halen I want to listen to. He was playing a Steinberger and had big baggy pants. That's yes, all exactly. you need to know. No thanks. Yep. Um, so I am a sort of Springsteen fan. I like some of the 70s stuff and I, I don't mind some of the newer stuff too, but I, I just can't get, you know, it goes back to the Bob Dylan thing. I can't get into someone with an acoustic guitar and a freaking harmonica. I can't stand Nebraska. This is just like, oh, you know, and you're probably asking why I even have it because I have a box set that's got like all of his classic albums. I don't find this one of them. And, you know, and the song, you know, Nebraska, Atlantic City, Mansion on a Hill, Johnny 99, Highway Patrolman, State <laughs> Trooper, Used Cars, Open All Night, My Father's House, Read and Believe. Um, I don't know. I just... I don't get it. It's boring. I hate harmonica. And every time he stops singing, it's like, a... like enough. I just, I just yeah, don't. Know. He does the Jeopardy theme. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. He sounds like the Jeopardy theme. That was good, Chris. I'll give you that one. That was good, Chris. <laughs> Maybe we should have a bonfire at your house and burn all these records that we don't like. Maybe. Maybe. Except we're going to have to fight over the ones that, that, some of us do like that get burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when no, Ryan goes to throw a pyromania no, 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 no. in the fire, we're all gonna have to. Oh, yeah, that one. No! <laughs> we're all diving to save it. Not be burned. <laughs> Very good, Nick. Very good. All right, I'm just gonna throw out a couple here. Um, a lot of people dig this album. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's, it's one of my least favorite from this band. Um, Point of Entry by Judas Priest. Oh mm. Jesus Christ! Not a big wow. fan. <laughs> Butch is leaving oh, again. Come on. Heading out to the highway, Desert Plains, Solar Angels. Yeah, I like Desert Solar Plains. Angels. How the fuck yeah. do you not like Desert Plains? I, I, I do like Desert movie. Plains. And, uh, you know, heading out to the highway is okay. And that video for Hot Rockin', man, that thing's great. That's great. Yeah, that's a great video. That's a cool like I said, I don't hate it, but I don't see the love for it. Hey, for me. Chris, forbidden. So, yeah, down. yeah. Speaking I hate of Judas the, Priest, I hate the Forbidden record. record. I don't like Forbidden. Either. I'll take Point of Entry over Forbidden any day. Oh, I will too. <laughs> Wait, but the thing I is, I didn't pick that because most people hate Forbidden. I'm, we're talking about yeah. stuff that people really dig. So, so wait, who likes yeah. Point of Entry? That song kind of sucks. I like Point of Entry. I don't. I don't hate it. I don't who hate likes it. Point of Entry, right? I like it. Right, you like it. Point of Entry. You know what? I, I think I'll take Point of Entry over Screaming for Vengeance. Oh, oh really? I'll take, that, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. I'll I'll take point of entry over turbo. I'll that that's for sure. take everything over turbo. That. Yeah. I'll take everything over turbo. Like yeah, that that's true. Take more than a lot of them. I love. I'll music. take the new KK Downing with less binks on drums over all, all that. Oh yeah, I'm curious to hear that. I haven't heard it yet, so I. I oh, can't I heard anything. a little piece, but it I heard sounded yeah, 15 it. seconds sounded good. Yeah, it did. That sounded good. A little clip. Yeah. All right, how about the Fleetwood Mac Tusk? Really? Oh, I know that one. I've never heard the whole thing. I like that though. album. It's good, but it's a weird album. It's, it's really weird. weird. A lot of, it's too long. It's got too many like little, quick little punky Lindsey Buckingham songs. And there's like a handful of songs that are great on here. The rest of it, it's just yeah, old, that's true. Boring. I'm not a big fan. And is that the record that came after Rumors? Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. Well, and how are you going to, yeah, for them, you're, you're like, fuck it, we're not going to top it, so we might just do what we want. Well, that's the thing, right? How do you follow up an enormous album like that? No matter what they would have done, would have been a disappointment, right? But I just could never get into it. Like, it's a few you. songs on it a lot. The rest of it's just, eh, forgettable. Um, I don't get this band. I don't get the love for this live album. Uh, the band, The Last Waltz. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, please. ring! You know, oh. I have been told by so many people over the years that Pete, I can't believe you don't have the last waltz. You never heard the last waltz, one of the greatest live albums of all time. I heard it Pete, 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 Pete for like decades. So finally, like maybe three, four years ago, I decided to go buy it, and it sucks. Now it's I know it's awful. Why. It's I, I saw them at a uh, at a, a giant stadium. It was like the World Football League, and they played a set after the game ended. Holy shit! It was terrible. Oh. It was awful. And this should be great because it's got like a million guest stars and, you know, like everybody's on this, but everybody sounds like they're loaded and just like sleeping through every song they play. It's just, I, I oh. think you have to be of a certain age to, to appreciate the band and that kind of stuff. Cause yeah, it's not good. I'm sorry. I, I like a lot of other stuff. that's kind of like this. I just, 
I don't get, I don't like it. First, of all, I don't get it. Yep. Dylan's on a few tracks and you know, my opinion of Bob Dylan. Right. And then it's just, I mean, Clapton sounds kind of like he's you know, going through the motions and I, I don't know. It's just, there's too many people. But you know what? You, you just summed it up. You just summed it up. They had special Go guests them. on it and that band brought those special guests down <laughs> to their level yeah. and it just made it even worse. Mm. That's, oh my God. I don't know. You know, oh, and I don't mind, you know, you hear on the radio, take a load off Granny or up oh. off the creep. I mean, whatever, those were okay. I right? like take a load off Annie. Yeah, I mean, oh, shut okay. up again. You but, do not. I like that song, fucker. You do not. Drink. <laughs> I do too. Take uh, a load off Annie. The walls also take on my own. Take a load for free. And then I'm going to go the Who face dances. I, I find this, other than like maybe three songs, I find this pretty boring i really miss keith moon here and uh i know a lot of who fans really dig this album a lot i'm not just not a big fan it just doesn't do a couple it. songs yeah couple yeah a couple songs, songs are pretty good the rest of it's just kind of like yeah you know whatever that's my stuff you know who i don't like that you guys might yell at me i don't know but i don't care is um uh i don't like george thorogood really he's all right I mean, it's kind of fun but yeah out of me really always he's have all right George I mean, Thurman's the kind of guy a... you buy a greatest hit set and you're done. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah, yeah it's he's fun in concert. Um because sure. everyone's loaded. He's just a drinking blues guy <laughs> that's and he's a great guitar player. I'm surprised, really. When I drink, I want to hear old Slayer. Well, you know, <laughs> okay. yeah, that makes sense. I'm, arguing with that. I'm the same way. But... Alcohol, Nick Franco, Slayer, George Thurgood. People, <laughs> people like a weird circle, you know. <laughs> Jesus. This is cool. This is a good uh, show. Yep, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get like. Uh, I, say, boy, I know Steve is thrilled. He missed this one. Oh, oh yeah. I, 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 can we throw in a couple of more records that we don't like? I got yeah, a couple. Go for it. We're we're only in an hour, so go for it. Yeah. Kiss, lick it up. I like that what? one. I like that album. Yeah, Aerosmith done with mirrors. You don't like lick it up? No. Lick it up. You don't like lick it up. I'm right with you. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. I gotta defend that album. Exciter. Okay, that's a good song. It's like a glove was good. Let's oh, it's like a glove. Right. Young and wasted. Yeah. All a million, million to one. Oh my god, a million to one. Dude, a million to one. Oh my god. I'll never own it. Uh -oh. oh, it's such a good album. You gotta, <laughs> never own it. You gotta go back to it. Give another chance. A Aerosmith done with mirrors. I've tried several times. I'm done with after rocking a hard place, which is a great record, but done with mirrors. I, I, uh, I don't mind that. I don't like, mind that. Yeah, I remember not yeah. liking that record. Yeah, and he looks like she wants to punch most of us in the mouth. <laughs> and, and the one that you, that fuck you and fuck you is <laughs> is another one that I've always. I don't. This yeah. isn't a. This wasn't a big record, but it was a a big artist to us, to our community, Dio, uh, Dream Evil. Really? Because I like that better than Sacred Heart. I hate, hate Craig Goldie. Oh, I'm shutting my mouth. God. Listen, my you can't make a Dio record after Viv and expect me to like it. Not what about, the two, what about the two singles? You didn't even like two singles? No. Well, come on. I have it. I actually do have it. I did buy it but back then in 86. I did I buy enjoy it. Dream Evil more than I do Sacred Heart, actually. Yeah, so do I. But listen, Butch, you know, your your guy is Vivian Campbell, so that makes total sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will yeah. I'll take Dream Evil over Sacred Heart. I got it. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'll, but you know, those I'll take Sacred albums, Heart over Last of the Legendary. You know, it's the This show's giving me fucking heart palpitations today. You guys Last the line, God, I speed I'm it up. Oh, drop the rule. <laughs> Rich, did you just say Sacred Heart is a drop dead classic? Uh, me? The title track, yes. It's oh, definitely the title a track. Okay. Yeah, I like the title track, yeah. but the title track is very good. Listen, rock and, roll, rock and Roll Children's a great song, and so yeah. for heaven. Yeah. Those two songs, you take those two songs off, Rock and Roll right. Children and Hungry for Heaven, you take those two songs off, and the and title track. I, I'm telling you. Go back and listen to it. Sacred Heart is better than Last in Line. Nah, I know why. Shoot, yeah. shoot. And, uh, oh, and shoot, shoot. I'll take that off, too. Other than that, <laughs> Last in Line's got some filler stuff on it, too, though. Does it? It does. It does. Not, I mean, nothing's going to ever beat Holy Diver. Not much. No. Maybe one I think or two songs, maybe. On Nothing beats Holy Diver. Oh, well, yes. Nothing. I mean... I gotta put the back up I on the wall. I have heart palpitations. I need medication now. Yeah, I think all of us have heart palpitations from. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I need some medicine. Listen to Sacred Heart. I'm telling you. 
Pyromania big... and Abbey Road just kind of hurt yeah, me. Yeah, Pyromania was tough. That was a tough one. I'm glad I could I can do that. Oof. Yeah, you guys I fucked us at the lot. drive-thru. If Steve Frank. was here, I would have argued about Ghost, but Steve's not here, so what's the point? I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> but he wouldn't have picked Ghost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, but if I mention Ghost, he he starts, his heart starts racing. He's like, uh, people <laughs> dial he gets all up. It's all fucking bed out of shape. I'm trying to think what Steve would have picked. I know. I was thinking the same thing. No idea. He thinks if he insults a band, he thinks they're going to come into his house in the middle of the night and like fucking kidnap him. Or I don't know. He just, uh, see, I could I could see him doing the Black Album by Metallica. Yeah. Probably any Motley Crue or Poison record or anything like that, but he doesn't even like to talk about like right. metal and stuff. He maybe. might maybe like Nickelback or something that you know we all hate. I think yeah, we I all know. hate it. Better all. Yeah, I'm pick I'm something from the '60s. They're awful. Terrible. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't even know what they sound like. I just assume they suck. <laughs> You're not missing anything. <laughs> Your ears are better for it. If they sound like what happened when grunge ran out of steam, and people were like, "Well, we need to make rock. We need to try to sound like <laughs> fucking Lane Staley, but we're gonna just sound like shit instead." But they're Canadian, so you got to give them a little bit of leeway. No, we don't. Even though I love Canada, no, I we got don't. my hockey. I got my initial PA on. You know, I love hockey. I love Canada. But something else that I don't like that everybody seems to totally go gaga over. I just reminded me of a conversation I had with my son yesterday. Baby metal. Oh, I've God. never even listened to it. it. What the hell is that? Yeah. I saw them. They played, they played my job. Um, I because he worked at uh when shows ha- are happening. I work at the Fillmore here in Philly, and they played the Fillmore, and I got like comp tickets and i live right down the street so i went in for like a couple songs just to see what they were like live and it was just i don't know i can't i can't really get into it i, I left i i left after a couple the songs. music is great i mean the guitar players are fantastic the whole band is great but then as soon as those those girls start singing i'm like yeah it just it ruins like it alvin and the chipmunks uh yeah. fronting it's like a temporary a fan. it's gonna go away watch it it's a temporary fan it'll go away i guess but rich it's been a couple years now i don't know yeah been around for a while yeah it'll pass, it'll pass. No, you no. think it'll get kids into metal or there's other ways there's other ways yeah well, taking wrong? my daughter to i took my daughter to vagos metal fest in portugal that's how i got her <laughs> nice <laughs> <In> portugal <laughs> yeah that's that's where this cup is from every dad should be like you nick oh. you took you took her to portugal yeah in 2019 for a metal fest well we did a whole sightseeing thing we stayed with a guy over there with his kids but one night we uh, were like, we were 10 minutes from the festival and a little camping, like little bungalow situation with a pool so the kids could have fun with his parents, watch them. It was perfection. Wow. And uh, one evening we're like, let's take the kids. And um, my daughter was on my shoulders watching um, Ailstorm, that, that, oh. that pirate metal band. And uh, they have like a giant ducky and like, it's just loads of fun. And I'll never forget, she's nine years old and she's like, daddy what are those people doing and i'm like they're crowd surfing she goes can i do that <laughs> no hopefully one day what, what's the name of the festival there? Not, till you're 30, day, honey. not till you're 30 yeah. um hopefully one day till they grab it's your boobs Vagos. and your vagina it's up on the beach vagos that was the name of the festival why do you go to the dark place Lynn? what's that because that? dude that's what happens when you fucking crowd surf and you're a chick drink <sighs> they grab your boobs and your vagina that's what happens no one's ever grabbed my vagina well, you're not a chick, could I tell no, you? No, but she, she really, she loved what she saw and she got like into it. And, and I could tell if it was something I could have done another year in a row, then it might have really helped. But hopefully when things come back, I can expose her to more. Uh, just mind. wait, just wait. In three years, you're going to have that conversation. She's going to be like, daddy, um, I want to go to walk-in, but I want to go by myself. You. Can you buy me a ticket? <laughs> oh. Daddy, daddy I'm bringing home the drummer. I'll be like Martin Lawrence. No, that's you, Lynn. Bad Boys 2, where he's like repelling with like the gun and the, and the binoculars in the distance while his daughter. I'll, I'll be that guy. I'll be up on the lighting rig, like looking down. Yeah, she'll ask you to drop her off and then it's all, it's all the metal shows. Yeah. Well, like, you don't think your dad is cool? Like with all my tattoos, aren't I cool? You know, you know what, though? The, the tattoos don't make you cool. Nothing but, makes you but cool. I, but I will say this. You're, you're almost as cool as my mom, that you took okay. her to Portugal at nine to go to a and she saw a festival that is that is pretty goddamn badass i go to shows with my parents all the time and uh it's it's a ton of fun we, we go to shows pretty much all the time together so yeah i'm trying to raise her to be like like you know 
like uh, Sydney. You know what I mean? Like at that age, you know, like if, if she could be anywhere near that type of awareness, I would I would be happy. That's very yeah. cool. I took yeah. my son to Ozfest when he was like twelve. He's like thirty one now. Okay. And uh, I remember, I, I, I'm trying to remember which band. It might have been during Black Label Society. I don't even remember. It was like later on in the day. And uh, <laughs> we're sitting there and two rows in front of us. This guy puts his girlfriend and his wife on his shoulders. She turns around and takes her top off. And so here's wow. this little 12-year-old kid going, Huh. It's the greatest <laughs> day of my life. Greatest right. concert ever. Right. Yeah, I said to him, I said, you do not Don't tell, tell your mother. You do not tell your mother that that happened. And then what does he do? We get home. How was the show? Great, mom. I saw boobs tonight. And I'm like, oh. no. Oh my God. <laughs> you had one job. Right. It's like, you're That's never going great. to a show again now, you know? But um, yeah. That's great. Yep. That is very funny. He yeah. saw Ozzy and hit puberty on the same night. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Anyway, there you have it, everybody. Oh, wow. so, uh, <laughs> albums that the world seems to love, we don't, for whatever reason. We tried, right? So uh, in the comments <laughs> below, add in any of your uh, favorite albums that you can't get into that everybody else seems to dig. And, uh, you know, hey, we understand fully that there's going to be a ton of fans of some of the stuff that we don't like here. But remember, we all like what we like and don't like what we like. So this is all meant to be in fun. Uh, we have fully understand that a lot of the stuff that we've tried to get into, but can't are going to have a lot of fans out there. So um, just take it easy on us tonight. That's all we have. So anyway, uh, let's pick see. Pick on Sydney uh, though. What's that? Pick on Sydney though. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> pictures. pictures. You had the first. All right. Well, then pick on Ryan for Pyromania. <laughs> well, then pick on freaking Nick for goddamn the Beatles. For God damn the Beatles. But before hey, Sydney, you pick Sydney I sent you first because I knew I was going to get you out of it because everyone, I, I knew everyone else was going to jump on. So I got you out of it. <laughs> I don't know, pick, man. I, I'm going to get a lot. Of, I cut that one a dark, dark secret for a long time. Well, you know what, though? I'm, I'm sorry, Pete. Sydney, you went out of your way to set it up. That was your problem. You went over and above to set it up that here it is. And you gonna hate the boom. Everyone else just kind of like threw it out there. Like I'm trying to try to throw this in. So I you set yourself I already up. Know. I already hate. know I'm gonna get a ton of shit for it. I already know. Yeah. I've, I've known from the second that I knew that I said I didn't really like Rush, just from the reactions of of hearing other people say that and how Rush fans react, that it doesn't end well. So nope. I already am prepared for it. <laughs> I said I was gonna get myself kicked off the damn channel. But just remember, before everybody pours the hate on me about the Beatles, remember I like music that sounds like two cats raping each other while trains collide so remember that <laughs> that's the logos that, that, that you can't like, read that, that uh, is a really colorful description yeah. <laughs> just remember where i'm coming from here Freight trains or passenger trains just oh freighters, freighters. Dude, freighters cats are... raping each other really i don't want no cats to do that i mean cats have like, you know, I I do that. Do that. michael i know you're watching i will expect that in the takeaways tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> are the cats getting hurt by the trains? Because I don't want the cats to get hurt. No, the cats That's are in true. the foreground. The no cats, cats were hurt in the making of this video. No, right. hurting each other. other. I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, man. All right, before we go, Butch, uh, the center square, take uh, your final thoughts of this evening. Come by Facebook and find the butcher shop. Say hello. And uh, uh, Pyromania? Yeah. <laughs> I expect a lot of bullshit for that. Bring it on. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh man. Well, thanks That's for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube. All, All the, the damn time. time. That's right. Uh, for Lynn and Sydney and Ryan and Butch and John Sykes, drink Nick, Chris, and Mr. Catino. I am Pete Pardo. See you all next week. Take care. <laughs> the collage. <laughs>